it's exciting that we're going to be having a new monument here that's not just a beautiful piece of art for our facility, but also that honors a pioneer and a leader in our community who did so much for civil rights. This piece of art will commemorate a local historian, professor, researcher, just a great person in Dr. Patricia Hilliard Nunn. When we think about understanding our past and educating the community about our past, no one was a better educator than Dr. Patricia Nunn. I grew up in a large way hearing about the story about the Newberry Six and always got bits and pieces of the story. And when I was finally able to hear Dr. Nunn give a, a, a symposium, it meant so much for me, and it was, it was an opportunity to get the whole entire story. We've worked closely with the Alachua County Community Remembrance Project to uh, uh, research African American history in this country, particularly in Alachua County and in Florida. This monument today will commemorate a lot of that history here in Alachua County. Given the work that Patricia did in this community, in particular the work that she did educating people about African history and culture and customs and teaching about the Sankofa, she did all of that in this community. Dr. Patricia Hilliard Nunn would always talk about the Sankofa bird in terms of the meaning of it. And the meaning of it is to uh, retrieve or to reach back and pull someone forward. When we all heard the word Sankofa and heard what it meant, we all knew, everyone on the dais knew at that time that this was what needed to be here to honor Patricia Hilliard Dunn. And, and it was just, it was, I have to say it gives me goosebumps to think back on it because it was, it was like she was there speaking to us. I think art like this is important for the whole community. I, I, as an art teacher myself, I understand the significance of being able to produce art for the community. It is a, a fitting tribute to Dr. Nung. When asked to create the sculpture, the Sankofa bird, of course, was what uh, I knew that I had to do. The head, normally you see the, the Sankofa neck, you know, sort of round, but I wanted it to be this way because the bird is proud, Sankofa is proud, our history it's a, it's a rich history uh, that we can walk and look back and walk with our heads high. I'm proud to know that she brought such life and such love to Gainesville, to Alache County. To look at our history in its truest form, that's what she was about. She was always about bringing history to life. And we do not want to forget that because we can learn from it. We can learn that history is an important part of our present and our future. It's wonderful that uh, this part of Florida uh, welcomed her as she did, as they did, and that they felt, uh, you know, strongly enough about her departure to want to do something to recognize her. And the particular symbol that was chosen is one that I think is really appropriate, uh, given the fact that we're standing on ground that was at one time consecrated to the memory of people who fought against freedom. Uh, and on this day of freedom, 150 years after the Emancipation Proclamation, I think it's really fantastic that we are doing this in the city of Gainesville and Alachua County. We gather today to pay tribute to this special woman, sister, who we were lucky to have here in our village for more than three decades. Many, many of us get yet reap the benefits of the work she did. Her spirit is always with me, and I'm just honored that uh, to be a part of this. She, who sifted through recollection, lifted memories hushed and heavy stones, unrolled our hidden scrolls and read our words aloud. The response has been phenomenal, and I'm just very pleased that this Sankofa bird uh, pleases the community. This was the right thing for our county, and looking at the crowd around today, I believe everyone agrees with us on that. Hopefully this community will continue to reflect on her words, and more importantly, her teachings as we move forward. It's very touching to me, it moves me, because what I'm hopeful is that 
through this statue that the work that she did will continue to touch uh, younger generations and generations on, you know, into the future, will be able to see the kind of lessons that she wanted to teach and wanted people to learn uh, about the importance of history and about the importance of African community and culture and the contributions that African Americans and other people of African descent have made to this great nation that we have.